hello students in this video we will be uh, studying about signal impairment basically we will be studying the different factors that affect the transmission of a signal its strength its amplitude and what are the factors that cause different kinds of disturbances in the original signal when it is transmitted through a transmission media okay so first kind of signal impairment is attenuation attenuation basically refers to the loss of energy of the signal during transmission so basically when signal travels through long wires and it covers large distances it loses some of its energy in the form of heat because it overcomes the resistance of the medium that it is crossing that is why you can see the wires that you uh, have in your homes or in your professional working areas also the wires even if they are insulated they become a little warm when the current or signals are flowing through them okay so attenuation is basically the loss of energy of a signal when it is being transmitted over large distances and this loss of energy basically leads to the signal getting weaker as it goes further on therefore amplifiers are the devices that are used at regular intervals so that if the signal becomes weak the amplifier restores the signal to its original strength and then forwards it throughout the remaining distance okay so amplifiers are used to strengthen the signal again during transmission and you must remember that the unit of signal strength that we use to measure is known as decibel which is also written as db okay so decibel is the unit in which you will measure signal strength now the second kind of signal impairment is distortion distortion basically means that uh, when the signal is traveling a distance it is changing its shape or it is losing the original form or structure uh, that was actually present at the sender side so if a signal consists of say multiple frequencies and all those frequencies combined resulted into a composite signal we have studied composite signal in the previous videos also so if that composite signal had a specific shape in the beginning say the shape was something like this and then like this and then like this then distortion can cause that at the receiver end the signals become something like this because its shape has changed so we can say the signal has become distorted so what actually causes distortion one reason is that when we have a composite signal which consists of multiple frequencies then those frequencies each of them have their own propagation speed because every kind of signal will flow through the same medium at different speeds right and when originally they were transmitted they were transmitted together at and formed a single composite signal but during transmission they have different speeds so there comes a delay in the times at which they arrive at the receiver so one signal might reach a little before than the other two signals and this will lead to a change in phase of that signal now if the phase of a signal changes we have seen that phase will directly affect the shape of the signal because it leads to a shift in the signal uh, it leads to a shift from where the signal is actually starting and reaching therefore this causes distortion in the signal now coming to the third kind of signal impairment which is noise noise can be of different forms noise is basically any external source that is inducing or that is um, uh, incorporating an external frequency into the original signal okay so noise can either be thermal noise thermal noise is basically caused by the motion random motion of electrons within the wire in which the transmission is happening okay within uh, uh, random motion of electrons in a wire uh, that is 
uh, using that is actually transmitting the signal which is actually being used as the medium of transmission okay now the second kind of noise is induced noise induced noise comes from external factors like uh, motors or any other appliances or any kind of work uh, going on in the environment where the signal is propagating inside a medium okay the next is crosstalk so crosstalk basically is the effect of one wire over the other so uh, there might be times when multiple wires are bundled together to form a single wire and in that case multiple different wires lie very close to each other so the effect of the signal that is propagating in one wire over the signal that is propagating in a, another wire lying close by is known as crosstalk the last kind of noise that we have to study about is the impulse noise and impulse noise is any sharp spike in the signal and which leads to the change in the shape of the signal now this spike can either be in the positive or in the negative direction and uh, but any kind of spikes are referred to as impulse noise now since we have studied noises and we have studied signals we must know an important concept which is the signal to noise ratio which is also known as snr now signal to noise ratio is defined as the average signal power that means the strength of the signal divided by the average noise power that means the how much strength is present in the noise okay so basically if you have a high snr that means your signal power is high and your noise power is low so a high snr is actually uh, desirable okay whereas if the snr is low that means your numerator is low which means your signal power is less as compared to your no noise power now generally snr does not have any units because both the numerator and denominator have the same units of power if both of them are expressed in the same units they will cancel out so snr does not have any units but if we want to express snr in the form of decimal then this is the formula for conversion snr in decibels is equal to 10 multiplied by log of snr base 10 so this snr is without units and the resulting snr you will be getting in decibels okay so this was all for today's lecture i hope you have understood the three kinds of signal impairment that can be caused during transmission so thank you for watching if you like this video please mention to us in the comment section below so till we meet in the next video mind your exam